In this video, I'm going to show you the features of the sealed switch module of a bell articulated dump truck so that you can set up the cab pre-shift. This is the sealed switch module or SSM. This nifty piece of hardware is ergonomically situated to give you easy access to all machine functions. It is the heart of the standard keyless start and security mode functions that protect your machine against unauthorized use or even theft. If you have watched our pre-shift check video, you will remember that this is our engine start button. Pressing it once wakes up the color display unit or the CDU. When trucks leave our factory, the default security code assigned to them is the last four digits of the VIN number. Input the code using the SSM numbers or the B drive controller. The B drive is an automotive mouse. These buttons here are soft key buttons. The one on the left takes you back to the previous page and the right hand button takes you forward. This bell button toggles the screen between the diagnostics and the machine configuration menus. Press and hold in the machine ID page for software updates. Press and hold in the main drive screen for the factory or service mode. The back button moves the navigation page back. The menu button toggles between the main menu and the main drive screen and you turn the dial to make selections. Up to 8 personalized 4 digit codes can be assigned to different operators within an operation. Steps to change the code and more information on security codes and driver ID can be found in your truck's operator manual. When the start button is pressed while the LED is flashing, the engine will crank automatically but will stop after 5 seconds if the engine hasn't started. This is part of the built-in starter protection function, standard in all Bell E-Series ADTs. Before we go any further, let's quickly run through a few functions that you might need depending on the operating conditions. First, the lights and wipers functions. Five buttons control the lights and the front wipers, starting here with the beacon light button. Next is the headlight button, which also switches the rear lights and the dash lights on. If one LED is on, it means the park and tail lights are on. Two LEDs mean the headlights and tail lights are on. A quick press of the front wiper button and the wiper wipes once. And the left LED flashes for five seconds. Another quick press while the LED is flashing takes the wiper into intermittent mode and the left LED lights up. Configure the speed in intermittent mode on the CDU. A quick press in intermittent mode takes the wiper into a low speed mode and two left LEDs light up. To speed up the wiper, press the button again and all three LEDs light up. Press once more to turn off the wiper and LEDs. This button also includes a washer function. Hold the button down to activate and it will wash and wipe for as long as you hold it down. The working light button switches on working lights on the cab roof at the front of the truck if you have this optional extra installed. The electric mirror defrost button is only on machines with electric mirrors. Don't leave this button on unnecessarily. You should recognize these symbols that control the climate and ventilation in the cab. They are the air conditioning button, the air recirculation button, the blower fan speed and the air direction buttons. This is a climate control button that allows you to control the temperature in the cab. The CDU displays the chosen options for each button. The next button is the engine stop button. If it is pressed while the ignition is on, the electrical supply to the vehicle will be turned off. And if it is pressed while the engine is running, the machine will begin to shut down. The LED will flash during shutdown mode. At this point, I'd also like to draw your attention to the emergency stop button. Press this in an emergency to switch off the engine and activate the emergency park brake. In shutdown mode, the machine places the transmission into neutral. The park brake is applied and the turbo spin down sequence begins. This varies from 5 to 120 seconds depending on how hard the engine has been working prior to shutdown. Pressing and releasing this button while the machine is at a high speed will bring the machine to a gentle stop whilst pressing and holding the button will cut the engine immediately in an emergency shutdown and will bring the truck to a sudden stop. It is important not to interrupt the shutdown process as it could shorten the life of your engine. 
A short press of the hazard button will cause the turn signals or the indicator lights to flash. This button works whether the ignition power is on or off. If the ignition is off, the CDU lights and warning alarm will be off. The park brake button is marked with a P. A short press will apply or release the park brake manually. But the truck is programmed to keep the automatic park brake applied whilst in neutral as a safety measure to prevent uncontrolled movement. Thank you for joining me. Look out for our other videos on driving a Bell ADT and the bin tipping function.